Alright folks, it's Pitching Ace 88. We are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Case number 29, No Smoke Without Fire. Going on to Chapter Dose. Let's Vominos. Let's go. Aiden, what's going on? Did something happen? P -p -p Please, Ace, you gotta help me. My, my mom keeps crying since Mr. Sullivan has been found dead. I tried everything to make her smile. Aha. Uh -huh. I think they were having a little bit of fun on the side. Just throwing it out there. Please don't cry, Aiden. Captain Ace will go see what's wrong with your mommy, alright? Oh, thank you, Captain Ace. This is really sweet of you. My mom is at the tea parlor. She's friends with the owner, Miss Piccadilly. Oh, snap. If you can't... If you can take me there, I'll be able to sell my scout's cookies. With the money of the sale, we'll have a summer camp. Well, Ace, what do you say? Should we take this scout to the tea parlor? It won't take long, I'm sure. Oh, we're going to the tea parlor, Miss Piccadilly. Captain A, such a pleasure to see you again. And little Aiden, have you come to sell cookies? Yes, I kept the chocolate mints especially for you, Miss Piccadilly. Even though Mr. Sullivan's dead, I hope we'll have a cool summer camp thanks to the cookie sale. Of course you'll have a, your summer camp. Just because this man's died doesn't mean the world has to stop. Captain Ace, I expect you'll want to talk to Charlotte. She's sitting over there. But be gentle. She's quite distraught, the poor thing. Perfect. And Captain Ace, maybe we could have a look around, too. I think that's a fantastic idea, Jones. Um, let's talk to this lady. Oh, she has a watch on her right hand, so she is left-handed. Miss Young, your son asked us to check up on you. Is everything all right? No, not really, but my dear friend Gertrude is by my side to help me through this. With the death of my beloved Connor, I don't know what I would do with Ger if Gertrude wasn't there for me. Your beloved Connor? Do you mean you and Connor Sullivan were dating? Yes, I hoped he could become a father figure to my boy, and now? Now we're all alone again. How, how will I go on without him? I had been so lucky to find a man like him. He was so attentive, so generous. Your feelings don't, don't, do not seem to be shared by all. The Eagle Scout told us he was not the kindest man. That's nonsense. Look, Connor bought me this watch a few days ago for no reason, just because he loved me so much. He was wonderful. Well, Charlotte sure thought highly of her victim, which doesn't quite match what we've been told by other people so far. Oh, nice catch, Ace. Indeed, if Charlotte is wearing her watch on her right wrist, that means she's left-handed. What? What? I know that. I also know it's because I'm left-handed. This being said, James Savage remains our best lead for now. We ought to have another look at his shack, don't you think? Let's go to his love shack. Love shack. It's about the only part of the song that I know, or else I'd be singing a lot more. And you guys would be thrilled because of my amazing singing. That's probably false. Alright, let's go to the tea room and have Luis help me out with some hints. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, this looks very similar, but everything's all different. Of course, there's batteries, spyglass... Torn paper is down here. Diploma. Diploma. What's a diploma? I think I got one of those. Oh, okay, it's back here. Umbrella. Ella. 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 Torn paper. Okay, battery. Diploma. Oh, first aid certificate. And spyglass. Whoa, what? Did I do it under 20? I don't know if I did it that amount of time, but... It wasn't horror replay. Hmm, this diploma is so faded by exposure to the sun. I came and read what's on it. Do you think you s think some powder tr trick might do the trick? And I wonder why this paper got torn to pieces. Maybe you can have a look at it. Oh, you're right, Ace. Gertrude's cold reaction upon hearing about her victim's death was strange. We better have a talk with her, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Alright, well, as always, we don't want to talk to the people just yet. We want to get the stuff going, because it's going to take probably around six hours to get some of this stuff looked at. Probably that piece of paper, so can do that definitely first. First and foremost. Alright. Okay, this, oh, this is this is hunting cabin. There's a bloody hand, but I guarantee that's probably not part of it. There's a scarf, magnifier, leash, um, Oh, it's here. Bloody knife. That's probably something. Where's the bloody knife? Son of a... Oh, it's up here. Stuck into the thing. Sticky notes up here. 
So we got the sticky note, this, hammer, scar, leash. What? What? Well, what in the... Alright, there you go, Lucy. You can take that. Careful, Ace. This knife looks really sharp. Uh, it's still covered with blood. I would have expected James to take better care of his tools. You're right. Nathan said the victim was stabbed half a dozen times. Maybe this isn't caribou blood. Let's click the sample, Ace. Let's do it right now. Right now. Let's go crazy. We're going crazy. Alright. And we're not going to do the knife because apparently I clicked on the wrong button. We're going to be doing this paper. Ooh! It's a, it's a fire truck. There we go. Oh, you know what? This is probably right there, yeah. And this goes out oh, here. This goes here, and this goes here. It's a fire truck. It's Aiden. So the torn paper you found in the tea parlor is a child's drawing, but why would anyone tear it up? It's a fire truck. Oh, I want to be a fireman too. When I was a child, it's the uniform. It looks so dashing. Look, Ace, there's Aiden's name at the bottom of the drawing. So he was the one who drew this. Let's give it back to him and see why the drawing was torn up. So much going on here, man. There's a lot of, uh... There's definitely a lot of stuff going on here that we do not know about. Now, I'm gonna guess this actually isn't the re real kill, uh, the victim's blood. It's just gonna be a random thought by me. Because I, I don't think James Savage would have done this. Holy crap, I did that quickly. I got lucky. Perfect. Let's get, let's get the blood sample you collected from the knife you found in James Sack Shack to Grace as soon as possible, Ace. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Oh, it's three hours, actually. That's not bad at all. Okay, we got two more stars to do. Let's examine this faded diploma. And I think we'll talk to Gertrude. So obviously we gotta get this. Oh yeah, you know it's Gertrude Piccadilly. What, what else? Oh, oh, ah, silly me, silly me. Tricks are for kids. Great job, Ace. Thanks to you, we can now read what's written on this diploma you found in the tea parlor. First aid certificate. It was rewarded to Gertrude Piccadilly. So Gertrude knows first aid. You're right. We better write it down. You know, if Gertrude was having, like, a love affair with the other woman, I'd be interested. I mean, it'd be interesting, but I don't know. That's just something I'm throwing out there. I could be completely wrong. Captain Ace, why take so long to come visit my humble tea parlor again? You know you're always welcome here. Now, what is it you want to ask me about that rude Mr. Sullivan? Even dead, the man is trouble. I take it you knew Mr. Sullivan well enough to dislike him. Care to tell us why? Well, you'd understand if you had known the man when he was still alive. I cannot believe such a violent, unloving man could have ever become a scoutmaster. When they came here, he was always drunk. Drunk? While taking care of kids? It's horrible what happened to him, but I'm glad those adorable little scouts will ha not have to fear him anymore. Nobody will have to. Wow, well Gertrude's portrayal of the victim sure isn't flattering. On top of being brusque with the kids, Connor was a drunkard. With such a background, I'm starting to think it's no wonder his end was so grisly. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused about this. I, I don't know who it is. Um, now we're going to talk to Aiden, of course. Um, we're going to do that after we process the blood sample, and we'll be doing that in a little bit. So this has been Pitching Ace Idiot. See you guys later. Let's talk to Aiden. Thanks for taking me to the tea parlor, Captain Ace. Gertrude always buys me lots of cookies. She loves the chocolate mints. Well, it's a pleasure, Aiden. Say, Captain Ace has found one of your drawings. We thought you might like it back. Oh, you put it back together. Thank you, Captain Ace. I made that drawing for Mrs. Piccadilly after my first aid training. We went to see firemen and all. It was so cool. That is, until Mr. Sullivan arrived. He was rude to the firemen and said that if it was up to him, we wouldn't get our first aid badges. And then he tore my drawing to pieces just to be mean. Sounds kind of like a DB to me. I don't know. Finish off this blood sample, figure out if I'm right. Came back positive. For oh, for the victim, really? Moreover, the blade from the knife matches the marks left on the victim's body. Ace, you've just found your murder weapon. Wow, I can't believe the murder weapon was found in James' shack. Quick, Ace, let's go bust his chops. Wait, before you go, I also found something else on the knife. The handle was stained with blood and chocolate. So our killer eats chocolate. Well, that's a first. 
Well, obviously it's gonna be someone who buys from these scouts. I mean, that's that's obvious. I bet you he doesn't. Where did you find this knife? I've spent the last two days looking for it. Captain Ace found it here, in your shack. James, this is the knife which was used to kill Connor Sullivan. What? But that can't be. Somebody's framing me. Those people. Nobody likes me here. They're scared of me just because I'm a loner. And now, now they're trying to get me arrested? James, how can you expect us to believe when you when you've admitted the murder weapon's yours? You even left chocolate on the handle. Chocolate? I'm allergic to the darn thing. You can check my medical records. Anyway, do you think I often stumble upon crops of chocolate in the woods? Seriously? Yeah, he makes he makes a good point. Um, either James is the unluckiest guy we've ever met, or he's stringing us along, Ace. And good observation skills, Ace. His rifle strap would have have to be buckled with the left hand, so James is left-handed. But that's not enough to put him behind bars, darn it. It's not gonna be him, dude. Anyways, back at the police station. Let's let's regroup, Ace. We know that Scoutmaster Killer eats chocolate, which is rather unsettling. Can you imagine killing someone while enjoying a chocolate bar? I mean, can you picture it, Ace? One minute you're enjoying a chocolate bar, and the next you're knifing a Scoutmaster to death and tying him to a burning post? Begging your pardon, Captain Ace. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I really need to talk to you. Scouts, honor be darned. I'm going to tell you everything I know about Connor Sullivan, Captain. Oh, snaps. We are going to learn some ish on this guy in the next part. See you guys in a little bit. Talk to you later. This has been Pitching Ace 88. See you guys all later. Over and out.